Gatsby. He had a grand vision for his life since he was a boy. I'm gonna fix things just the way they were before. Just you and me. No amount of fire could challenge the fairy tale he had stored up in his heart. Every kid has read this novel. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a part of the fabric of America in a lot of ways. But in the center of, of this novel is this incredible character that is Jay Gatsby that's so filled with nuance and complexity. And what's made this novel and this character last for so many years, still discussed to this day, is the fact that everyone has their own interpretation of who this person is. Shall we? Did you get an invitation? People aren't invited to Gatsby. Well, I was. Seems I'm the only one. Who is this Gatsby? I immediately honed in on uh, his emptiness. The fact that he was uh, ultimately trying to fulfill his own destiny, this manifestation of what he wanted his life to become, this great Rockefeller of of the 1920s to become, as he puts it, a great man. It was the tragedy of somebody that was not in touch with his times or his personality or reality and, and um, just held on to this childhood image of what he wanted his life to be. What kind of a row are you trying to cause in my house anyhow? He isn't causing a row. You're causing a row. Please have a little self-control. Self-control? Oh, I suppose the latest thing is to sit back and let Mr. Nobody from nowhere make love to your wife. Daisy was the key for him, and, and ultimately she is this mirage, she is, she is the green light. There was a very key passage in, 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 the, in, the, in the novel where uh, Nick describes what it was like for Gatsby to finally hold Daisy for the first time and in his castle that he created for her, and yet he was still staring out at the green light. And don't.